Well, I purchased this uh, gray oak that I wanted to have locate in front of the house so that it would create some nice shade for the front of the house without blocking the view of the Oregon Mountains. Now you've got a gray oak here, which is a native oak to this area. And yesterday we took the time to dig a hole and we dug the hole to the size of the root ball. And we did dig the hole and put in some biosolids from the Las Cruces sewage treatment plant. And they're really great because they're super rich in micronutrients. We're gonna take the tree out. So, this is typical. And you would think most people would take this tree and just plop it in the hole like this. And then in a few years, they'd be wondering, why is this tree not doing well? Why is it dying? And the trouble is, most of the time, these roots are bound. And what we're gonna do is take all the soil, try and get most of this off. I can feel already, we've put down a tarp here. I can feel already, look at already. Mm -hmm. See this? Right away, you see a root right here. They're just wrapping Starting around, aren't circle. they, Jeff? Yes, they are. So this doesn't hurt the tree. Most people are really appalled in a sense that you'd be doing a, the stripping of the soil off the tree. They think this hurts the tree. But actually, if you left this tree the way it was, it would die, it would strangle itself. The reason for that is that these roots have grown in the container, and when they hit the edge, they just keep going round in a circle, spiraling round and round and round. And what happens is these roots, because they've spiraled around, they can't undo themselves once they get in the ground. And they get bigger and bigger until they strangle the tree. So we need to straighten them out before we put it in the ground. We don't want these roots going round in a circle. So what we're gonna have to do is this root, we're gonna cut it off back over here. Oh, you cut a lot of that off then. Yeah. You don't wanna, see this root here, we can actually lay out in the soil, mm -hmm. we can unwind it and straighten it out. The one thing that you wanna make sure when you're doing this, you don't want this to dry out. You don't want these roots to dry out. So doing it in the winter time is a good time. So we got most of these roots straight. Getting Look at this side, over. you can turn it. Look at this root here. You can see how this root, let's hold this up a little bit. This root came out here, going all the way around, spiraling right around in a circle. So let's prune this one back there. We stop that spiral action. We're gonna plant the tree and we don't wanna plant it too deep. So you don't want to take this tree now and just put it in here like this because the soil is going to come up to here. Mm -hmm. So the tree would be like this deep. And why wouldn't you want to do that? Some people think it makes uh, the tree more steady in the ground than if you oh, plant because it that's deeper. Because it's, you would actually suffocate the tree right. by doing that, by planting right. it deeper than where it was originally planted. Right. The, the roots are the lungs of the tree. Yes. Even though most people believe that the leaves you get oxygen from the leaves and it breathes up here, but it also breathes through the roots. Mm -hmm. The roots are a different tissue than what's above. So this bark tissue is not adapted to being below the soil and neither are the roots adapted to being above the soil. Yes. So we're a little bit too deep here. What we're gonna do is infill. You know, we've dug the hole based on what was in the container, mm -hmm. but by the time we finish pruning it, root pruning, now the hole is too deep. So we're gonna just pack this down just a little bit. So I'll try and keep it from settling because we don't want the tree to sink. And now let's take a look. See where we are. Okay, that looks about right. I'm gonna snip the end of this one off because it didn't quite fit in there. I'm gonna try and... So anything that extends beyond the hole, you're just going to cut off. Right, because uh, it'll branch out. Uh huh. You so don't want it to start twisting around again by bending it sideways. After all this work. We're not finished putting all the soil back in, but you can see that this, where the roots are coming out here, this is right at ground level. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. And what we're gonna do now is put a little bit of water on this to settle the soil in. This helps the uh, soil and the earth settle back in around the roots. The water helps kind of dissolve the soil a bit and works it in, in case there's any air spaces, which you don't want air spaces around the roots. 
you want direct contact with the soil. And what we'll do now is we've got some of this extra soil here. Let me get this out of the way. We can put some of this. This was originally in the pot. We can go ahead and put some of this in around the top. It's organic. You know, we can use it. If you wanted to, you could have taken the time to mix this, but uh, mix it a little bit more with this native soil. That looks pretty good. And what we'll do is probably let that sit for probably an hour, maybe two hours, mm -hmm. let everything kind of settle. And what you can do is come back out, water it again, make sure it settles real well. If you have to, then you can add some more soil on top of it. Make sure the tree didn't settle, and there you have it. It'll be planted. What we're else we're gonna do here to help stabilize it a little bit is that we'll get some rocks. Las Cruces has plenty of rocks. Yeah, there's no shortage like on rocks. <laughs> and what we could do is put some of these around the base, and that kind of helps keep the roots settled down in there until this tree takes hold. But I think it's going to be doing real well. I think we've got it done. I think we do. And now what we'll do is just put more rock around the tree and just keep watering it and clean up our mess. Perfect.